Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. It's been a little while since my last video um, and today's video is going to be another uh, few days of vlog. Three new tattoos. Yep, that's right. You heard right. <laughs> I've got three new tattoos to share. Um, so I will show them and explain the meaning of them and everything. And also something really, really, really exciting has happened. We have a new family member. Um, as I've explained in previous videos, um, my doggy nephew, Floki, sadly passed away last, it, it was the end of October, uh, end of last October um, because of cancer. And um, it's just not been the same without him. And we all really, really thoroughly miss him so, so much, miss him and think about him every single day. And I think always will, um, you know, he was my sister's world. Um, and I used to absolutely love spending time with my sister and Floki, the three of us, you know, a little, little unit. Um, so, uh, my sister's left it, um, uh, quite a decent amount of time really. Um, but it's just not the same for her without having an animal, um, without having a, a companion. And, and, um, so what we've done is all over Easter weekend. So basically, East, uh, Good Friday, um, me and my sister went to a dog rescue in Liverpool and we went to visit a dog called Peter, um, who is a 10, or at least he was 10 months then, a 10 month old XL bully. Um, and he uh, had been in the rescue for just about a month. Um, and you know, he's really been looking for a good home for someone to love him, cherish him and allow him to be the puppy that he is. And, um, the, also though with Peter, um, he has a condition, um, where he has fluid on the brain. Um, and as a result of that, um, he is partially sighted. So he, he, he can, he can still see a little bit. Um, we're not sure exactly how much of his vision he still has, but, uh, you can tell that he, um, can see some things, but it just takes him a minute or two to sort of adjust. Um, it, he's absolutely wonderful. You know, he's just like any other dog. It's just, he doesn't have all his vision and he can be a little bit wobbly, um, here and there. He is um, underweight. Um, the rescue said that when he came into them, he was already slightly underweight. And then he has lost um, a little bit of weight while he's been in the rescue kennels. Um, they think maybe due to stress or because he wasn't settling properly. Um, so uh, my sister and myself and my mom, um, who is of course his nana, um, we all have the very good job of, you know, looking after him, cherishing him, giving him all the TLC he needs, getting him back to a full bed of health, um, you know, getting him to gain weight and become very strong, very healthy and a very happy boy. And I'm really, really glad to say that he settled in so, so well. Um, my sister already absolutely loves him. I already absolutely love him. He has us wrapped around his tail already, which I mean, come on, do you expect anything else from us? <laughs> um, but so basically, yeah, went to see him on the Good Friday uh, and my sister adopted him on the same day. And then we spent Saturday uh, on the Easter weekend getting everything ready. So beds, toys, bowls, food stand, all the rest of it um, and sorting the garden out. And for the very first time, I got to uh, use a strimmer on some grass because, uh, oh, you just got a little sneak peek there um, of the tattoo. Um, but I've never strimmed, used a strimmer before. So I said to my sister, can I do it? Cause we needed to strim the grass that she has in her garden. Um, and I've took a little footage of it, um, which I'll insert now. <laughs> just teaching me how to use a strimmer because I'm going to be 30 in a month and I've never strimmed before. I don't have a lawnmower at the moment so a strimmer will have to do. Yeah but it's never too late to learn new things. <laughs>
that was me uh, stirring in the garden, which um, I did a fab job, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Not that it's hard, but I enjoyed doing it anyway. So yeah, Saturday, we just ended up doing all the different preparations. And then on the Easter Sunday, um, the rescue brought him to Claire's home um, and I was there as well. So me and Claire were there to greet him and to help settle him in. And he literally just, honestly, we were so amazed. He's just settled in so, so well. Um, he, you know, he, he, when the lady left, he didn't seem to pine um, or he didn't seem to be distressed or worried about being in, in, in a new place. He seemed to just really, really like the setup that we had for him. And, um, you know, I mean, we just... We're still just taking it a day at a time. You know, he's only been uh, part of the family for, I think it's either 11, 12 days, 11, 12, 13 days or something. Um, so it's it's still very new, but he is, you know, touch wood, he's doing really, really well. He's such a good boy and he's so brave and he's already showing a cheeky personality, very curious, very cheeky loves attention, loves having cuddles, loves being close to you. You know, he's he's quite um, an affectionate boy. Uh, Floki was very affectionate, but it, it was on his terms. You know, if he was in, if he wasn't in the mood to um, be affectionate, then, you know, it, 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 sometimes he would be, sometimes he wouldn't, but Peter seems to you know, he wants to be very close to you, um, which, like I say, he's had a lot of disruption and, you know, quite um, quite a chaotic and start in life, you know, uh, being in, a, in someone's home, part of a family, but then it not, um, you know, going to plan and then going into a rescue and then all of a sudden uh, with a new home, new family. Um, so... You know, he's he's bless him. He's he's not had the best start, but we're hoping we can make up for it. Um, and like I say, just spoil him, love him, and make sure he's comfortable, gets plenty of rest, plenty of food, good food, water, exercise. Um, hopefully, um, get him to make some new friends, which he has already made a doggy friend, which is so so exciting. Um, we Molly, who's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, a little Staffy, she's absolutely wonderful. She's such a gorgeous dog. Um, and she was one of Floki's best friends. And so we had a, a little play date um, on the local fields and it, it couldn't have gone better. Um, I'll just insert some uh, video clips now of them to show you. They're so, so cute. Oh, it's flew off now, Mum.
so he can grow and be a big strong boy. Yummy yum yum, Peter's lunch in his tummy. He's gonna get strong and maybe a little chubby. Well, I mean, we don't want to get you overweight or anything, Peter, do we? But we definitely need you to put some weight on, kid. We definitely need you to put some weight on, don't we? Which, you know, at how much you love your food, I don't think should be a problem, really. No. You're loving your ding dings and your lunches and your breakfasts, aren't you? <laughs> You're such a good boy. You waited very patiently, didn't you, while I was making it? You waited very patiently while I made it. You sat down and didn't make a sound. You just waited, didn't you? Because you're a clever, clever boy. He's going to lick that bowl absolutely clean dry, definitely. There'll be nothing left once he's through. What is Auntie Becca got? She's got so... Oh, he likes the bunny first the best. Auntie Becca got him some new toys from being at... Oh, Sorry, and there's a road carrot as well. Yay! He's got some new toys. Oh, he's got some new toys. Oh, he got some new toys from BM. Say yay! Oh, he's a road carrot, and we got a donkey, and we got a rabbit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody, I'm going to draw this video to a close. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, but before I do close the video, I realise at the start, I promised I'd show you my new tattoos and explain why. Um, so I've taken pictures of them all, which I will put on the screen now. Um, so the first tattoo is, of course, the paw print of Floki. Um, Floki's paw print and his name underneath and, and I went to a really nice lady who was able to do the, the tattoo um, and I think she did a brilliant job like all of the little details in that it, you can tell that it's his individual tattoo and the reason why it's on my left forearm is because I wanted to be able to see it and it, like, you know, so I have him close and stuff because I think about him and miss him all the time. And he's just, um, you know, Floki was just a special, special, special boy. And th there are no words to describe. I, 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 he just, honestly, he was just amazing. Um, and you just have those special people and those special animals that just you know, they really stick with you and you bond with them, you know, to to a higher level than you would with others. And he was just absolutely amazing, like really strong connection, really strong bond. So, yeah, so his paw print here on my left forearm so I can see, uh, keep him close and, you know, so I can remember him always. And then the final two, <laughs> as you can see, they are so on the backs of my forearms. And um, so this one says, nature is my religion. And then this one says, earth is my church. And with this one, it's like spring, like spring florals and leaves. And then with this one, the leaves are more autumn shape um, to represent different seasons. And the reason why I've got those is because <clears throat> I'm not really religious or I don't really practice any faith. Um, but for me, 
I'm somebody that's currently on a mental health journey and I have been for quite a few years um, and during that time I've had some really really bad lows um, and some really really difficult times, times that if I'm being completely honest I wasn't sure I was going to get through and I'm sure anybody that has experienced a mental health battle you, you understand that it's just it, it never quite leaves you even when you're doing better you you know it still takes a lot of work to stay on top and um you know to try and keep a level balance and um it's just it's something that will always remain with you but you just hopefully find better ways to be able to deal and cope and um to stay on top really um but when i have had my lows and when I have felt really, really lost and disconnected and when I felt just like I don't recognise myself anymore, one place I always found myself going to was out in nature. Um, whenever I'd have like a really bad panic um, and I was just so overwhelmed with all the thoughts and feelings going on inside my head and when I just felt like I was getting so trapped I would just panic and either walk or drive to the woods or an um, open field or just anywhere outdoors in nature where I'm on my own I breathe the fresh air in listen to the sound of water sound of birds I like you know walk walk amongst the trees and it just really really helps to calm me back down to sort of you know for me to sort of settle and calm and and it just humbles me back down really and it helps to make me feel connected again um nature for me is something that i find really really soothing um i find it very calming very soothing and just really really good for me and it's not even just a case of going out walking everywhere all the time it's even just if you can appreciate the beauty of the trees and the flowers and watching the birds listening to the birds um or just you know any sort of interaction with any animals or wildlife or you know any any part of the natural world really um it's just uh i think the true I, it might sound a bit corny this but i think the true magic in in like the magic that exists i think it's nature i think it's the natural world i think it's beautiful powerful i think we can learn a hell of a lot from it and um i think it it's you know it's nature and wildlife they should be protected they should be cherished um and they should be looked after you know and and i i just i just feel like we've let you know as as people we've sort of let let the natural world down haven't we and we need to do better by it um but me personally nature has done a lot for me so that is the reason why i've put that nature is my religion earth is my church because what i believe in is nature is animals wildlife the natural world um i believe there's magic in in it every day um and I think it's just the most peaceful and the most right feeling that I ever have is when I'm embraced with nature or with with animals and things, you know. So, yeah, so that is why I'm going to start rambling now and end the video. But they are my tattoos, guys. Um, and I hope, like I said before, that you enjoy the video, enjoy uh, meeting Peter, and I will continue to take you along his journey and share his progress. I will take you along uh, the journey with us. So take care, everybody. Stay safe and well. Bye.